Uh, good morning, I'm Lieutenant Doug Nolte with the Wichita Police Department. Uh, just want to give you a quick update from the Police Department on what uh, we're seeing out there as far as traffic conditions. Uh, currently the emergency accident reporting plan is in effect. As of about 10 minutes ago in talking with dispatch, we only have one accident that's working, uh, which is a good thing. People are staying off the roadways. One of the things that we're seeing is that when the main roads are plowed, some of the side roads uh, and access to them are limited just because of the drift and the amount of snow. Uh, so people need to be careful and we certainly don't want them driving into snow drifts uh, and getting stuck. Um, additionally, our police vehicles and emergency response vehicles uh, are not four-wheel drive, so we are limited in how quickly we can respond, so people need to keep that in mind as well. We will get there as quick as possible. Uh, additionally, uh, making sure that you check in on neighbors that might be shut in or uh, might have some mobility issues, uh, keeping us informed if you think that there are people that need to have welfare checked is important to us as well. So we're encouraging people to be good neighbors in their neighborhood and make sure that uh, elderly and shut-in people are uh, taken care of. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Joe Pager and let him talk. Thank you, Lieutenant Joe Pager. I'm the Deputy Director of Public Works and Utilities for the City of Wichita. The snow event that we are facing yesterday and today continues to be a challenge for us. Yesterday's snowfall total set a new record that has not been officially verified by the National Weather Service, but the 6.2 inches recorded yesterday on the calendar day exceeds 5.2 inch record that had been set in 1912. This storm at this point, unofficially, is in the top 20 all-time snowstorm events. Depending on the snow that we get during the remainder of the day, the remainder of the event, we could end up in the top 10. As a result of that, the City of Wichita has activated contracts that we have with private contractors to supplement city forces in snow removal activity during the next 24 hours. In addition to that, because of the conditions at the Brooks Construction Demolition Landfill, the Brooks Construction Demolition Landfill is closed today. The two major haulers, Waste Connections and Waste Management, are not making collections today and therefore the service for those haulers will be delayed by one day. At this point, I'll turn it over to our transit director. Thank you, Joe. I'm Steve Spade, transit director uh, for the city of Wichita. Wichita Transit uh, operates two different services. We operate fixed route service and uh, demand response paratransit service for the disabled community. Um, we uh, are operating buses on all regular routes today, although understanding that uh, we have a lot of snow and congestion, uh, our buses are running late. Uh, in some areas we're having to detour where roads are impassable, um, and in those cases uh, we are actually posting information on our website, which is wichitatransit.org. Uh, the, the public can get on the website and get up-to-date information on any website uh, or any detours that you might have. Our paratransit operation provides door-to-door -door service uh, in a lot of neighborhoods. Uh, we are in the we have uh, spent the morning contacting our clients who had trips reserved to make sure that they're medically necessary trips and that their streets are passable. Uh, in uh, we are making med medically necessary trips for passengers and then rescheduling people that uh, didn't have to travel today. Uh, we fully expect, uh, with the, the progress that Public Works is making, that uh, we'll be on all our routes again tomorrow. Thank you. We're going to have Doug and Joe and Steve stay up and take your <coughs> questions. Joe, just, if you would, just talk a little bit about how, um, how the roads the road clearing is going for you guys I and mean, have you had any problems, that sort of thing? Roads were in pretty good shape uh, early this morning, about 2.30, 3 o'clock. In the intervening hours between then and the morning rush, we experienced considerable snowfall at times in excess of a rate of two inches or more per hour. And along with freezing rain, that reduced our ability to 
uh, keep up with the snow. We had whiteout conditions and near whiteout conditions several times during the night. And as a result, we simply got behind on clearing routes. With the lull that is occurring right now in most of the area in terms of new snowfall, it helps us to get caught up. The 20, uh, the contractors that we're bringing in will provide an additional 21 operators and 21 pieces of equipment that supplements our existing emergency response on each of our 12 hour shifts of 50 operators and 50 pieces of equipment for snow address. And I know a lot of people are anxious, wanting to know when those side streets will be cleared, they can get out of their neighborhoods. Talk a little bit about the procedure there. The city's snow emergency plan provides for the clearing of the major arterial routes, which are our snow emergency routes, and also secondary streets, which are collector streets. It does not include residential streets. And the reason that we do not plow residential streets, especially in a snow event like this, is that snow would end up blocking driveways and would end up burying cars that are parked on residential streets. On arterial streets, we have different conditions and therefore we're able to do the efficient plowing. So you, you won't ever do those, even we, after the main ones are cleared? That, that's right, that's right. Now, if we have particularly bad areas where snow has drifted, will take request as possible after we complete the clearing of all of our snow planned routes. These 21 extra operators, are these like the full size trucks like you have or like just pickups with plows on them? Very good question. The, these, these additional uh, pieces of equipment are full sized pieces of equipment. This is a, a trucking company and a, a major earth moving contractor that we have these existing contracts with. So their, their equipment will be entirely similar to what we use for our regular snow emergencies, not the small commercial parking lot cleaning equipment. Compare this storm to other storms. I know you talked about it being a record setter, but as far as street maintenance goes, has this been a challenge compared to other storms, or is this one been just pretty average? Well, this, this has been a challenging storm, and part of what makes this such a challenge is we have to provide staffing and equipment levels that are reasonable year in and year out. And so when we get an extreme storm event like this, our ability to promptly respond is challenged. I'm sorry, Tim, back to the, the 21 full crews. Is that a private company? Yes, there are two private companies that we have a standing contract with and we're executing that standing contract to bring those additional resources to bear on clearing the streets. Do you anticipate, Joe, when you'll be able to kind of, so the wall right now is helping you try to get caught up, when you might in your mind be sort of caught up to where you want it to be? The National Weather Service at this point is forecasting about two more inches of snow between now and six or so this evening. As a result of that, uh, we're still going to be battling new snow coming down until 6 this evening. I anticipate that by rush hour tomorrow morning, Friday morning, we should have all of the snow emergency routes cleared, all of our secondary snow emergency routes cleared, and be in pretty good shape for people once they get to the arterial street network. All, all snow emergency routes cleared and all secondary routes cleared by tomorrow rush hour. Yes. Secondary routes include lower traffic ways as well as access to hospitals and schools that are sometimes in a more residential area. Are you still uh, encouraging people to stay off the streets if they, if they can? If people have the opportunity to stay off the streets, it's obviously in their best interest because you're not going to risk getting your vehicle stuck. As we have vehicles that do get stuck in snow drifts, and we're trying to do the, the response work to keep the streets open for emergency vehicles, obviously that becomes a potential danger to the folks who are stuck, as well as our operators having to work around those. Have you guys had any problems getting your truck stuck or anything like that today? We have had uh, two or three occasions in which we had trucks that were doing plowing get stuck. We got those out without too much trouble. Uh, what we are doing is similar to what people will do uh, in terms of keeping a full load of salt and sand on the truck when they're plowing so that they're able to maintain the traction to address the snow. 
And you're still doing 12 hour shifts? We're still on our 12 hour shifts operating 24 hours a day. Anticipate that that will go at least until tomorrow morning rush hour, whatever we need after that to clean up and then respond to the special request. At this point, it doesn't look like any appreciable melting of the snow until Sunday. Do you have enough salt and sand to dissolve? Yes, we do. We're in good shape on salt and sand. Obviously, this is going to draw down our reserves, but uh, we'll be replenishing those uh, after the storm event. Are you guys salting now or just, just pumping? Right, right now, we are not uh, salting and sanding except in areas that were uh, needing to do that, such as bridges, hills, curves, those types of troubled areas. As we get the plowing done, then we'll be going back over and treating them because obviously part of the challenge is going to be if temperatures get above freezing and after the traffic is, is reduced overnight, the refreeze potential. I'm going to take a few more questions. Can you explain uh, which, so we've got two trash haulers that are not hauling today? Yes, two that have announced that they're not hauling today, Waste Management and Waste Connection. And the landfill's closed. The, the C&D landfill is closed. I don't know the status of the transfer stations. There are two privately owned transfer stations that the municipal solid waste goes to. I don't know the status of those. One of the challenges that we have is that our vehicles are not four-wheel drive. They're uh, uh, pretty much a standard uh, two-wheel drive vehicle, um, and they're subject to getting stuck just like any other vehicle, um, which makes it a little bit uh, tricky when we do have to go into those residential areas. As Joe pointed out, they're not plowed, uh, and for good reason, because it makes it much more difficult for uh, people to get in and out of their own uh, areas, but it also then will... Uh, mean a little bit longer response time for us. Have you had any emergencies, 911 type of emergencies, where you were significantly hampered getting there, no fault of yours? But, you know. no, fortunately, uh, we have not had any any major incident that has occurred that we haven't been able to get to in a timely manner. Um, we just, as a side note, we've had five very minor police vehicle accidents between uh, yesterday and today. so. We are experiencing some of the same issues out there, and we're encouraging our officers to uh, take their time and make sure they respond safely. No, no injuries. No injuries. Okay. 